Hi, this is Sean from MP3Car. I want to give you guys a developer walkthrough of what it's like to be a developer on the Auto App Mart. So to start off, what we're looking at here is the home screen. So if you're not a developer, which we're going to not be a developer right now, we're going to go click on Developer Network to become one. Okay? There's only one prerequisite to becoming a developer, and that's that you have to be an MP3 Car Forum member. So if you're not an MP3 Car Forum member, before you hit this screen, hop on over to the forums and then just choose this register button right here. This is going to register you on the forums. Once you have a forum account, you can come back to the Auto App Mart, click Developer Network, and then click Sign Up to be a developer. So this screen is pretty straightforward. Basically, we're going to choose our username that we want to use. And this isn't actually choosing. This is actually using uh, the forum name that we have. Okay? And we're just going to enter our forum name, which is uh, going to be Batman Begins, and then our password. Now our first name uh, is Bruce Wayne. Now PayPal email address. If you are gonna, if you plan on putting paid apps on the App Mart, in order for us to pay you, we need to have your PayPal email address. So if you don't put one, we can't pay you. I'm not gonna put one for now. And I'm also not gonna have a company. So then we ask, how do you want to be known? So you can either be known by your forum name. So everywhere on the App Mart, it'll be Batman Begins. Or we can know you by your company. Again, if you choose this, you have to fill in a company. Or you can be known by your real name if you don't want to use your forum name or a company. Then you choose your city and uh, country, which is for me, Baltimore, USA. And then choose a website. Batman.com. Uh, now you're going to go ahead and choose a logo to, um, to upload. And I'm just going to uh, load up uh, this image right here. And then you can, we'd like to know a little bit about you, and this will be the text that uh, is displayed under your name on the developer page. Uh, or you can choose a random phrase, which is great. Then come down here. This information is really just for us. It's not public at all, and it's really for us to gauge uh, you as a developer, and so we can better serve you as developers. So I'm going to develop free apps, tools, voice utilities uh, for Linux, and I'm not going to choose a front end. Okay, read through this agreement. This is your developer agreement. Uh, you need to understand everything in here and how you're going to get paid and all that, and then go ahead and agree and continue. Uh, from here on, it's going to take us to the Auto App Mart back end. So we're going to just sign in with our new credentials. So Batman begins, and then we're going to sign in like that. Now, once we're in the back here, we're going to take a look around. What you first see is your list of products. Obviously, right here, there's nothing. I don't have any products yet. But here, you will list your products, and you can edit them right from here. On the left side here, you can choose statistics and drop this down and you can see here that I can choose developer statistics, customer statistics, and app statistics. If I choose developer statistics it's just going to show me my totals as in the total number of products that I have, the total downloads that I have, and the total unique customers that I have. If I choose customer statistics it shows me all the orders that I have and it shows me all the reviews that have happened. There's really nothing, you can't accept reviews here and they only show up once the moderators accept reviews. And then you also have app stats which is the same screen as when you first load it which is listing all the apps. You can also drop down the account tab and you can see your profile so if you ever messed up some information or need to change any information or need to verify any information you can change it all right here. Then you can add users to your account. Basically what adding users does is if you have an account where you want other users to be able to add apps under your name you can do that here. Then there's another section called FAQs, and this basically, uh, this is a section that we give you. We're going to create uh, FAQs specifically for developers to give you specific information for all the kinds of things that are going on for developers. So read through this if you're ever confused, and if you ever need any more information, just read through this, and there's going to be lots of details here about how to use the App Mart. Now, the screen that everyone's going to be using a lot is the Add an App screen, but before we go into that, we're going to look at the API access screen. If you're a developer and you're developing for multiple platforms, not just the App Mart, you may wish to integrate the App Mart with any of your applications. In order to do that, you need to get a secret key, so you're just going to fill out your app name, and, a, and this is not the app that you're going to be using, this is the app that you're going to be integrating the App Mart into description and you're going to create a secret key and it's going to list all your keys here and then when you want to learn how to use the App Mart API you just go to autoappmart.com slash API and you can go ahead and read everything about the API right here so it's going to give you sample calls and 
these are going to show you how to make the calls and all that okay so let's go ahead and add an app so we're just going to click add an app that's going to load our add an app screen so from left to right we've got our categories our app information our software information and then the preview of the app itself so it's imperative that you go ahead and choose uh, a category so this is going to be a free app it's going to be a skin and it's going to be for Linux and it doesn't run on a front end um, it's just a skin <laughs> then you need to choose your app name so this is going to say Batman skin and our price is going to be zero and our version is going to be version one notice these blue question marks these blue question marks give you little tidbits of information uh, throughout this whole uh, process so if you ever get confused as to what these things need to be you can choose it right here you can choose a support URL if you want or you can add a new one if you need to uh, choose a description so um, uh, this is a Batman skin has lots of features right uh, some of the features uh, so then then you actually have to add your requirements uh, which for this uh, you just need to have uh, Linux a computer and uh, you need to have a desire to uh, to show Batman skin okay and then we can go ahead and list our features again separated by line break so for this uh, the features are it can eject itself uh, it's got a cloak mode which is really cool uh, it's actually got uh, unidirectional uh, directional audio, so it can actually uh, play audio directly at you. And then we can it can also play MP3s. It's very um, it's a very high tech device. So then you can come in here and add bug fixes. You probably won't do this when you add an app, but when you come back here, this is the same screen that you get to edit. So you'll add bug fixes here, and then a first post announcement. So any app that gets created gets a post directly on the forums in a thread dedicated to uh, AppMart apps. So what you're going to put here is just um, this is the first post about about uh, this Batman skin, right? So it's very straightforward, but this is going to be at the top of the screen when this is posted, okay? Then we're going to choose our software file. Uh, in this case, this is going to be this, uh, this zip file. Right now, uh, all apps need to be in zip files, but I think pretty soon we're going to be allowing other formats. Then we're going to choose our main app image. So for this, we're going to do this background. And then you can choose sub-images. So I'm just going to choose uh, this home screen. And we're going to choose this Twitter picture. And then we're also going to choose this weapons picture. OK? And then this will update later. Then you can choose whether the product is active or inactive. And you choose if it has a license or not. If the product has a license, then the license key uh, shows up in the moderator backend for us to add a license key. And then when the customer logs in, they will then see that license key once we add it. OK? Uh, usually you need to contact us before you can choose this, or else we won't be aware of that there's a license happening. So we're not going to make it active yet, but we're going to go ahead and hit Create App. That way we can see what's going on. So we're going to create the app and verify all the, all the information, and then we're going to make it active. Okay, so as soon as it's done, we're back here and you can see all the images that we now have and you can actually click on these and get an effect of showing you all the images that you just uploaded. Okay, so now we've verified the information and we say that everything that's here is correct. Go ahead and make it active and then go ahead and update the app. All that's doing is making it active on the store and you can see this box is now checked. So, what all just happened? Well, if we go head over to the Auto App Mart front end, uh, this app, because it's brand new, it actually shows up directly on the screen. Notice it's got a cool icon automatically created for you. These icons are automatically created, so you can upload your icon if you want, but the icons are all in this format, a widescreen rounded corner format. Okay, so if you click on your page, it takes you directly uh, to the page right here, and you can see what these pages look like. It shows you the version, shows you the developer uh, link right here, and all the information about the app. It shows you the requirements, all the features. It'll show you bug fixes if there are any, and the user can go ahead and choose these. So, what else happened in this process? Well, if we go back over to the forums here, and we log into uh, our forum home, we can look. We can actually go down to the Auto App Mart section, which is down here in. Uh, Auto App Mart, and then we choose. Uh, we see that there's a brand new thread created 
called Updates to Batman Skin, okay? And you can see that it's posted by me, Batman Begins. So I can actually click this, and it'll show me what this post looks like, okay? So you can see, first we have our download link, and first and foremost, our download link, which takes you directly to the App Mart. And then we see that here's the first post that we typed in. And this this post will show you, will is that first post box that we had in the back end. Then we get our nice big image of our main app, then we have some questions that we're actually answering. So this is all being automatically formatted. What is the Batman skin? What are the requirements? And then we're going to list all the screenshots that we have. And as we update the app, so let's go back in the back end here, and we'll change, we'll update, we'll say um, uh, description. Uh, well, let's say, let's say um, this is changed. So we're going to change the description, and we're going to add a requirement. We're going to say now you need Windows and Linux. So we're going to go ahead and update the app. And then if we go back to the forum here, uh, we're going to go ahead and refresh this, and a new post is now created that shows that our descriptions changed, and our requirements have changed, and it lists all the changes right here. So you can see all the functionality that we provided here to make it so that your apps become front and center and that you as a developer don't get forgotten and pushed back. Now there's one more feature as a developer. Uh, on the Auto App Mart, um, it will actually show you uh, actually on the mp3 car forums it'll actually show you all of the auto apps that you have and it'll give you a link directly to there so everyone on the forum can actually see that you're an auto map developer and they can go directly to your developer page where they can see your developer products so it's really easy to set up apps to update apps and again it's really easy to get known as a developer and get your apps out there for this one central location for all kinds of auto apps